Here with Gray Maynard, a guy who's competed for the title twice. So this is, in essence, your third, yeah. third time contending for the title. What does, what's the difference between this fight versus the fight you had with Nate Diaz and the fight you had with uh, Kenny Florian? You know, again, um, uh, Nate, it was more of, all right, I'm going to try to go out and get the knockout and, and press for, for uh, stuff that might not be open and, and, and um, be a little bit careless. Florian, I was a little bit more held back. So, you know, I might balance out the two and just, um, just kind of have a smart one. But uh, but attack him and and look for the openings, try to create the openings and and um, just be dominant. You're very complimentary of his game, saying this guy doesn't have many holes, and the holes that you do know about, it's it's very fine tuned. It's a game of inches. Yeah, yeah. You know, again, once you get to the top, um, that's kind of how it is. You know, and that's that's been the big part of my career is. Going up against the top guys and uh, and the top ten guys and looking for those those uh, s small openings to exploit. I mean, because once you get to the top, you know everybody has the ground game. Everybody has takedown defense, takedowns, boxing, sh striking. So that's been that's been. Um, thing that's kind of helped me me evolve is looking for those smaller s smaller technical things he mentioned the one thing that listen gray Maynard is going to come to fight his wrestling is phenomenal his boxing is exceptional he's got knockout power and he's over at aka so you know he's going to be bringing something new to the table talk about the training camp over at aka training camp has been actually probably the best camp i've ever had you know um it was it was it was um a lot of training camps I've had have been kind of like that, but not that intense, not that uh, um, uh, like goal oriented, and just day in day out there was the, 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 there was a person there looking at me, watching me, Daniel Cormier watching my takedowns, my takedown defense, like Hav watching me sparring, um, uh, uh, Leandro wa watching my uh, uh, jiu-jitsu, you know, so so everything's monitored. And, and then the sparring, John, you know, I sparred him almost the whole camp. And, and training camp there, you know, when you, you're in camp and it's, a spar day you get put into a cage and and you know it's a fight you know and the, and the coaches are there and and uh you know i think that's that's um the the big part of it was two days a week i had john fitch you know three rounds whatever it was and and uh we went at it you know and and so it was a great great camp for that just pushing a uh Big guy, I mean, he was probably up around 193, 94, so. That's a big difference. Yeah, and plus he's getting prepared for his bout um, coming up against uh, Josh Ber Berkman. So he's game mode too. So, um, you know, there was, some, there was some phenomenal sparring. And on a side note, both uh, you and TG are new fathers. Uh, he's already told me that when he gets back home, he's, he owes – the wife a lot and he'll be changing a lot of diapers something tells me you're in big trouble come sunday or monday yes yes i'm in big trouble you know they're upstairs and uh you know it's it's awesome but um but yeah it's gonna it's gonna get real here soon <laughs> you got your own room as well you moved into the guest room you got yeah. some posters up there and stuff yeah, yeah i moved into the guest room i got my headphones on you know she's banging on the door clean up your room it's like I'm a kid again, man. <laughs> As always, thank you for your time. Yeah, thanks, man. Here you have it. Great Mater taking on TJ Grant, Cole Harbor, Nova Scotia's finance. This Saturday, UFC 160 pay-per-view at the MGM Grant.